Welcome back everyone, Toysh is here and I am back yet again to give you guys another early fresh look and today it comes courtesy of my friends over at LEGO and Hasbro and this is their brand new collaboration, it's launching June 1st, 2022, why this is LEGO Optimus Prime. Very excited to have this guy, this is pretty darn cool, I think you'll be excited to check this out. About 1500 pieces, 18 and up on the box. Generation 1 fans, older audiences put together Lego. I think you'll know what's up. Kids, I don't know how they're going to feel. But on the sides of the box, you got the classic G1 logo. You got a really nice photo of a Lego Optimus Prime. And then on the back, really nice photos as well. Tells you everything and anything inside this box. It's a really nice box. Might have to... Try not to keep boxes, but I might have to keep this. It does boast you can transform him fully without moving any parts and pieces around, right? Snapping anything off. You get a bunch of G1 Optimus Prime accessories to go along with them that you get to build. No, I'm very excited about this. So bust out your original G1 Transformers Optimus Prime. Grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Hasbro Lego collaboration, Lego Optimus Prime. So we're just going to jump right into it, right? No, no, no spiels, nothing like that. We're just going to open the box, you spill all the different contents out. You get a lot of plastic bags, each one housing the different parts and pieces to make Optus Prime. And you got this really cool folder right here and you open it up and you have the bane of my existence. We're going to have to use some stickers on this Optimus Prime, which is fine. There's only a few, but then you get this really nice instruction booklet. And overall, it's very reminiscent, let's say, of the old instruction booklets from the G1 Transformers line. And you get lots of nice pictures, little factoids here and there, right? Autobots convert and roll out. You get to learn about Joseph Patrick Keed, who did the Optimus Prime here that we're uh, looking at. So very cool senior design designer for the uh, Lego design team and then you know different uh, little write-ups different photos tells you exactly what's in the bags and how you're going to put this guy together and it's very detailed very few problems I had with this overall very nicely done so very cool indeed and then uh, you know you just started off I like to put everything in order you know kind of like a crazy person when it comes to putting together Legos it's got to be perfect right so you get uh, bag number one here and you spill out all the contents I kind of thought how am I going to really show this you want to watch like however it took like four and a half hours of me putting together this lego i don't think so right so gradually right as each bag keeps going like with bag two here you've got the waist now so you got the upper part you got the waist of optimus prime and then with bag three you start getting like different parts and pieces to make up the top parts of his leg so you start delving into wheels right everything moves on this guy everything is pretty darn fluid and you're going to end up with two of those with the click click sound that the instruction booklet tells you it's pretty funny i don't know anyways with bag number four you start getting into the lower parts of the leg and that's actually where the fun starts to happen because you start going wow yeah making optimus prime there's a there's a sense of i did this i guess with all lego sets right even however long it takes you but uh, you know right on to bag six now you're going to start making little optimus prime feet so basically, you just kind of take your time. Put some Transformers on, put some Netflix crime drama, I don't know, whatever you want to do, documentaries, and uh, you just have some fun building this. And you get to the point where you make the little canisters that fit on the sides of his legs, right? Just like the old G1 Optimus Prime, and they flip up and down from truck to robot mode. And then you got bag number seven, and again, this is where you really start to see it coming together. And I'll talk more, you can, you can change the little face plates on that one if you want to go more cartoon to action figure but uh, yeah it's all starting to come together you got the big shoulder pads with the autobot symbol right there you're going to produce two of those and then with bag eight see it goes pretty fast but i'm not going to tell just just take your time with this guy bag eight you end up with two of the lower forearms for optimus prime with the hands right he's got little uh, fingers and you get the head of optimus prime on huh? a little eyes right don't don't use the wrong bricks when doing that, right? You got to keep the eye one for that, obvious reasons. Bag number nine is when you start delving into his accessories. And I'll show you how all those work in just a second. But you do get his energy axe, and that's from basically the first episode. And you got a Energon cube, which, 
you know, I got my thoughts on that. More on that in just a few. And then you have the matrix of leadership. We all know. Don't remove that out of Optimus Prime's chest for obvious reasons. But the best one, by far, my favorite one, is his classic blaster rifle. That's the G1 Optimus Prime gun through and through, and they've recreated it perfectly in LEGO. I mean, I've recreated it perfectly in LEGO, right? But with bag number 10, you get the final pieces. You get the jetpack from Sideswipe or whatever the G1 cartoon, right? He borrowed it and then uh, you put it all together. And you got one cool looking Optimus Prime. I've wanted this since they showed it. I know I got tons of Optimus Primes, but there was something awesome. I don't know. It's a friggin' Lego Optimus Prime. So you, you can't go wrong with it. And in truck mode, it looks amazing. They did a great job. He's nice and heavy and secure. And then, yeah, you can transform this guy. It's pretty dang simple. It's like the original action figure, right? So you just flip that up, and you're going to move the hands up, right, just above there, and pull his arms out, and then you're going to want to grab him by the waist. Take it easy on him. Don't go crazy. He's not going to fall apart, but just go easy on old Optimus Prime. You flip the arms out. There's his head, right? You're going to want to flip that around, so you got Optimus Prime going. I'll show you everything in just a second. Flip up the feet. You get him all nice and steady. Pull down his arms. Flip down the part. Fold that in, and I'm telling you, when you have this thing built, it's like you're like a little kid again. You're like, oh, man, that is awesome. You got that, like, yeah, I built this. I'm cool. It took me forever, right? But, uh, yeah, you got a really cool looking Optimus Prime. No joke. Now, when it comes to the accessories, like I said, you do get very specific G1, very specific Optimus Prime weapons. And you can pull off the hands real easy peasy, right? You can see, right, you just kind of peg in there. And then you just peg that in as well. And you got the Energon X. I'm going to be honest with you, it, it ain't my favorite. It's it's not the best looking, right? It's not because I didn't build it right, but it's just okay. And then you have the Energon Cube. Again, it's not the best looking. I get it. I, I just wish it was maybe done in a different way. When you see the Energon Cube, you know, coming out of Soundwave's chest or whatever, and you just look at all the different cartoon characters that house them and they glow, it doesn't exactly capture it perfectly. It's okay. But, you know, I, like I said... The G1 Optimus Prime gun is, is beautiful, and it's actually a lot of fun to put together, I'm not going to lie. And it fits in his hands perfectly. He's got articulated fingers, and then for extra support, it'll peg right into his forearm right there. And yeah, that's, that's a classic G1 Optimus Prime, and the fact that he transforms is friggin' rad from the top part down to his feet. Everything is recreated perfectly with Lego blocks. Now, with his head, I'm going to say, might be a little bit too small. Not exactly too spot on. I don't like the way it kind of rocks. You kind of have to uh, keep it steady, right, from time to time. You open up his chest. You got the matrix of leadership in there. That's one aspect where I think that could have been a little bit more detail, a little bit more something to it. It's the matrix of leadership. And then on the back side, you can see from the top part down he's a little bit bare now it is just like the original action figure right so i'm not gonna be too critical and plus you can put this on the back side of him which is great and like i said yeah just like in the g1 cartoon you got the, the jet thruster backpack sure why not and that simply just clips on right there and then if you notice this little part i stuck this on here just as like weapon storage you could say this is really meant to emulate the little yellow parts from the cartoon or heck even the marvel comics if you wanted to go that route i personally i go with either one i kind of like being the old action figure look but yeah you can swap it out easy peasy and you put the jet pack on the back and you can move the thrusters around but I, what i really do like about it is that in so many ways it basically keeps his head sturdy so instead of it falling back or down as much as it did when i'm kind of moving around it keeps it nice and sturdy so i definitely dig that and then in comparison to the original optimus prime right the g1 optimus prime and then you have this new one with the legos and everything else it's pretty cool it's cool to come from what you saw in the 80s right kind of thinking all this time well, yeah you know could they do a lego could i make a lego optimus prime well the Lego team figured it out for me, and I just got to build it. So that's pretty darn cool. And then you can see all the different Optimus Primes. Now, this is just the three basic ones. These are now, like, my favorite ones, right? You have the original G1 look. And then you have, like, the anniversary Optimus Prime. It's all die-cast metal. So that's awesome. And then you have the Lego one. Hey, some die-cast parts would have been cool. But he's nice and heavy on his own. So I'm really not complaining. And then just for fun... In so many ways, other little Optimus Prime toys, micro machines, 
jaded to it, whatever I have. You know what I mean? It just is kind of fun to kind of delve in your collection. And you, know, you got a big Lego Optimus Prime now. So very few qualms with this guy, to be honest with you. Now, I will tell you this. Go easy with him and kind of like the hands. Sometimes the, the Lego pieces tend to pop off. Sometimes the head parts will pop off. It's a Lego, so I'm not too hard up on it. You just simply piece it back together. I really do like this Optimus Prime standy. I think that makes it look extra fancy, right? It's kind of like you're a Comic-Con. It's looking in the glass cases. I like all that. That's, that's pretty darn cool. Now, whether or not, let's say in the future, they were to do the full cab or maybe roller or have some other G1 aspect to attach to this guy, I would really not be opposed. And to be honest, when I first saw this guy, I was like, God, do I need another Optimus Prime? And I'm like, but it's Lego. And I'm like, I don't do a lot of Lego. I like the Super Mario Legos. I like the Nintendo Legos. I was going to get him anyways, but I do thank Lego and uh, Hasbro for sending this guy out early to do this video for you guys. And thank you very much for watching. So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the upcoming Lego and Hasbro collaboration, right? The Lego Optimus Prime. And if you want to go ahead and grab this guy, he launches on June 1st. You can grab him at the Lego store. You can get it at the Lego website. So hopefully uh, yeah, if you do want him, you can definitely grab him. Price-wise, I'll say it's pretty comparable to a Lego set, especially this guy is not only enormous, he's very heavy. He transfer. I don't know where you start when you start making like a Lego set like this. Can't tell you where you start when you make an actual transformer. But to everyone involved, yeah, you did a fantastic job. However, I will tell you, I have one request: uh, a little Lego minifigure of Spike Witwicky. That would have been awesome. Or Spark Plug, right? That would have been awesome. Now I got to go to the Lego store and make a little Spike or Spark Plug to sit right on his shoulder. That would have been cool. That would have been a nice little touch to throw that in there. Just saying. But as always, I am curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. And let's talk everything Lego Optimus Prime. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, for now, where do we go from here? Like the cab, everything aside, do we do Megatron? Do we, what do we transform him into, you know, Lego-wise? Can we make Starscream? Now, if you made Starscream, I would definitely be in for Starscream, too. Just say it. Favorite Transformer right there. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.